Uh, in agribusiness, there is a lot of business that we usually consider, and among those businesses, there is what we call poultry keeping. In those businesses, there is some certain factors that we consider before the reason why we cannot put poultry and we decide let's put goat. There is also the reasons why we, be, we may base on putting dairy instead of putting poultry. So, those factors are the ones that may make someone to go to a specific site and decide to do poultry keeping. Today, I'm standing in uh, on a site that is going to keep poultry. And here, we shall be keeping 8,000 birds layers. Yes, you're most welcome uh, on our channel. Please, if you're new on this channel, mind to tap the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss out any of our episodes. Today, I bring to you on our new site that uh, we are constructing for poultry buds and we are going to mainly focus on layers you guys there is a lot of things that we do uh, consider when you're doing these things and that is the reason why you can just come to our office and we tell you that according to your location according to your site according to the size of the land this is the project that you have to to do so this client of ours came to us and we advised him instead of doing the livestock then according to the market according to the size of his land he can do poultry birds and because of that we we measured and we see that we, we saw that the profit margin that is going to be making in poultry they are going to be much more than those profits he would have done in uh, goats and uh, um, a dairy as well so to basically we are still on the foundation and we are laying uh, we are trying to put up our poles as you can see them uh, the workers are really doing a wonderful job and uh, before you even start on this level of building you have to first level the land as you can see this is different from those of the goats that we have been doing. Uh, even though you find the land uh, having a lot of slope and what, but the, here you have on the on the poultry site you have to to first level the land, as you can see our land is leveled very well. And after that you have to make sure that you do you level you see where the sun is coming from. You don't want the sun to be uh, uh, on top of our our birds all coming to our structure so that is why we make this structure of ours to be the length to be where the sun sets and where it rises so in the east and west and we are going to make sure that the aeration that will be in our structure it is ample because these uh, these birds as you can see their behaviors they really need a, a place where the aeration is okay so this is what we can I can show you. This this is the the trench that we, we made, and uh, as we are you are going to be looking each and everything. It is moving on very well. So guys, if you have such, if you want to do a serious commercial poultry farm, we are the best people that you can contact, and uh, we can design it for you. We can plan it for you design it for you and also construct it for you so this is the update of our ongoing site we shall be sharing with you more and more of many things that will be taking place on this farm and after that we shall be uh, stalking those birds and the, uh, and the farmer will start on the journey of keeping these birds so guys this is some of the things that I want you to take caution if you want to do this poultry farming.
Yes, number one is uh, the foundation. If you're planning to do a, a goat house, uh, no, a poultry house, there are certain things that you have to put much emphasis on, and that is the floor. The floor of your house has to be on a flat area, meaning it would be very easier for someone who is going to be serving these, these birds. Secondly, it would be uh, very easy for someone who is going to clean this house of yours. So it is very crucial to always make uh, the floor of a, a poultry house flat. Meaning we are going to put uh, the concrete very well, we castinate it well, and also we, f we make sure that the floor is smooth and very good for our birds. Two, the wall. The, the, the wall means the wall that is going to be coming from the foundation. You have to make sure that it does not exceed one meter. That means your birds will be protected from direct wind that will be hitting them. Remember, we need air in our house, but still we don't want a lot of wind that is going to hit our birds directly. is ventilation ventilation is very crucial and this is where many farmers really go wrong when they get people uh, to construct for them such houses the ventilation is very crucial because these birds of ours you see they need a lot of air in that structure so that means if our 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 wall takes up uh, takes uh, one meter from the from the foundation then the remaining will be taken by the uh, the chain link and as well as the chicken mesh that is going to make sure that we get enough air into our uh, poultry house so guys that is very key don't allow someone to construct for you a structure, a, a poultry structure, and does not give you an ample room for the aeration because your birds will suffocate and eventually they will die. And those are some of the problems that we want to see that we eradicate. Someone who wants to do a profitable business, we make sure that we reduce on the risks of losing. Another thing that is very crucial, it is biosecurity. You know, biosecurity is very crucial in livestock keeping, but it is very much emphasized when we come into bird production or when we come into keeping birds. So, biosecurity means that you're going to, uh, to, to make uh, a fencing or to make a fence whereby only qualified people are the ones that are allowed to enter into those demarcations. It is very key because these, uh, these birds you see here, they contact a lot of diseases because of uh, uh, contacts, because of biosecurity. But if your biosecurity measures are really strong, you're going to benefit into, in, in this business because you're going to eradicate and you're going to prevent diseases from spreading so it is very key